public offer and rights issue that other banks are doing for their consolidation. He reached GT Bank's own. Their group CEO turned it to Buzz Bulls. Hello, my people. You guys already know what season it is. The season of consolidation. All the banks are coming out to, you know, talk to us and beg us for our money even though some of them are pretending that they don't need our money some of them will be throwing shades like uh, we don't we, are, we have enough money we are heavily capitalized we don't really need your money okay we're not going to give you bonuses because i don't believe in bonuses what kind of talk is that anyway let's look at gt bank's offer to see what they're going to offer us okay gt bank started their public offer on the 15th of july which was last monday today is thursday 15th of july 2024 and it's going to end on august 12th 2024 so hurry if you're interested in buying gt bank shares remember i'm not your financial advisor i'm just here to give you financial news about what is happening in nigeria keep watching because i'm going to give you my verdict about this public offer <laughs> So this is a public offer. You don't have to be an existing shareholder, unlike the Access Bank own. You don't have to be an existing shareholder for you to get your hands on the GT Bank shares. Okay? So how much are they offering it for? They are offering it at 44 Naira 50 Kobo Tawai. They're going to sell 9 billion ordinary shares at 44 naira 50 kobo per share <laughs> like i always say this is not a good time to buy shares the shares the nigerian shares are at their all-time high i'm beginning to think that these big boys these big players they, they that's why they did that thing they did last year late last year so that the shares will phew, rise up so that now when they're offering you all these public offer and removing one one naira even access did not even bother to remove anything they actually Selling, up, selling beers at a higher price than the market price. <laughs> but GT Bank managed to remove, let's check how much their, their share is today. Based on the last trading day, which is today, their share price, today, Thursday, July 18th, their share price is 45 Naira 30 Kobo. So they're selling at 44 Naira 50 Kobo. They don't even come out to reach one Naira self. <laughs> you know, the discount don't reach one Naira. It's like... 80 kobo <laughs> so these people are joking with us so they, 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 they don't th they're taking us for granted <clears throat> they're looking to raise 400 billion naira for the consolidation you know something that i forgot to say i i showed it on screen during the access bank video you know these banks that have international branches they have branches all over africa in the uk in the us gt bank all these big big nigerian banks while those ones that have just national network or yeah only within nigeria they need 200 billion but these guys need 500 billion so they're going to raise 400 billion or they plan to raise 400 billion from this public offer let's see how they allocated the spending because normally if you're going to raise money you're going to tell us how you're going to spend the money in this event they said that 438 billion will go to building more branches and refurbishing old ones in 2024 man eh? when here 10 years ago in fact 10 years ago earliest eight years ago yeah was when the banks here started like closing some of their branches in fact my branch was closed and they had to tell us to start going to another branch at that time they've already projected that in 10 years time they will not need all these branches because everything was going digital these days you can from the comfort of your home open an account from your phone especially if you're an existing customer of that bank if you're an existing customer of another bank, you can also still open your accounts. Once you have your data somewhere on the, on the, in the system, you can open your account from your home. New account, you know, a whole new account, you open it from home. Nigeria as a country has the 
best database more than even all these developed countries we have bvn we have name everybody's phone number is linked to his or her name yet nigeria cannot use this infrastructure for anything you're building more branches when even the ones you have do you even load cash in the atm you go to their all their atms no cash there the one thing that takes you to a bank to go and withdraw money from the atm they never load money in the atm rather you have to go to a a POS person to get cash. So why are you building more branches? Why? In this 2024? So I'm disappointed in this. Even if I wanted to invest, this is not what I want my money to be used for. I prefer a situation. Actually, I was looking forward to watching this to, to hear that for the first time, a Nigerian bank is offering mortgages. You guys know how I've been shouting about low-cost housing, low-cost housing on this channel. Why can't GTB channel some money to building low-cost housing in Nigeria? Since the government does not want to do it for decades, Nigerian government, does, apart from the ones they did 40 years ago that people are using to boast, this is an opportunity for them to go into... There is BVN, there is NIN. Everybody's NIN is linked to their phone number. So if somebody decides to run away, you can catch the person easily these days. But they don't want to use that infrastructure. Rather, they want to build more brick and mortar houses. When they should be selling the ones they have and, and cutting down. We don't need more branches. What we need is low-cost housing. We need, we need housing in Nigeria like 20 years ago. So right now, it's everything choke. We need housing. We need a bank that will start the mortgage business. Real mortgage business, so not these ones that developers do and ask you to pay under 18 months. Real mortgage business of 25 years. You can start with people that work in banks, people that you know that you can you trust, you can catch easily. And then move on to civil servants. All these people, they can you can you can find them. They're not running anywhere. Let's continue reading. The second biggest amount, they want to use it to lend to corporate, commercial, retail, and SME segments with this very high lending rate we have now due to very high inflation. <laughs> Who are they deceiving? Do these people think that we don't know anything about finance when they write all these things? That they, they be like, write this thing, they don't read it. Maybe they're right because Nigerians don't read. They don't think about these things. They don't think deeply about these things. So I'm guessing that this 133 billion, which is the money they assigned to lending, will just sit in their bag. Majority of you will sit in their bag doing nothing. I'm I, that's the way I see it because the rate is damn too high right now to, to say that you're going to assign 133 that i think almost equal to the one that they want to use to build new branches and refurbish old ones the other one is 138 billion this one is 133 billion and then the lowest one 98.5 billion they're going to use it for technology infrastructure upgrades i heard when he said that they're going to change their banking software okay maybe train their staff as well but all this money just for change of software and training of staff anyway that's for them but yeah this thing looks i am not investing and another thing that rubbed me the wrong way was when he was asked something about i can't even remember clearly was it uh, forex or fall of denier or something like that he was blaming 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 citizens blaming just blaming city that we uh, buy things from outside nigeria we just the the, the same refrain that they all say he never for once blamed the government for the fall of the Naira. He never for once blamed the government policies. Maybe he's afraid of his bank being closed. He's trying to be politically correct. I understand him, but he should have toned it down the way he was blaming uh, the citizens. You, Abaji, I'm sure that if we come to you now, if we come and check you now, you're driving a foreign car or are you driving a nursing? Let me know in the comments if you're watching. <laughs> Are you driving a nursing car? I'm sure it's either Toyota or Mercedes or all these big, big cars that you're driving, ported cars that you're driving straight from the US. If we come to your house now, I'm pretty sure that all the furnishing down to the packer, broom and packer that you're using, they are imported. If you come to GT bank offices, maybe the MD offices, I'm pretty sure that the leather seats there, the, the upholstery there, the furniture there are imported. Check yourself first before you come here and start blaming the citizens. Okay, I'm not going to go into all the other things that they said in that in that meeting. Yeah, uh, like sounding like 
we don't need your money we're already capitalized this and that anyway i'm going to yeah listen to you when you tell me the truth you don't need my money i'm going to keep my money very deep inside my pocket because this thing that you plan to do with the money i'm not impressed so it's a big no from me guys i'm a shareholder of gt bank and i am a happy shareholder in that they pay good dividends they have never failed in paying me dividends and most times they pay more than 10 percent in dividends so i see them as one of the companies like i always say in my dividends videos or shares videos nigerian banks are the companies that pay the best dividends in nigeria in all sectors they usually pay the best dividends so gt bank pays dividends consistently i'm happy with them in that aspect as always i am not your financial advisor i'm here to give you the news about what is happening in the financial sector of nigeria if you love gt bank very much go and buy their shares because i am not buying i'm not impressed <laughs> the bigger shareholders let them tear it among themselves and buy just like they were saying in the access bank one we are going to we are going to subscribe it we are going to exercise our full rights <laughs> okay you people should go and exercise you rich guys even when they offer these gt bank shares for 100 naira you people will buy if they offer the the access bank one for 50 naira you people will buy you people have excess money now <laughs> excess money you've made over the years Anyway, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me meet you there. What do you think about this GT bank? Are you buying or are you pissed off with the whole thing just like I am? See you in the comments.